All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Bungo, Bungo Stray, Stray Dogs, Dogs season, season one, episode two. two. A right. tiger mm-hmm. in the form of a man, a boy, a boy, an orphan, yes. uh, someone uh, a lost who is boy. Yes, yes. indeed, mm-hmm. and he has been taken in by a rather um, rambunctious group, or rather one particular individual that's quite depressed. Ah, uh, yes, constantly. Yes, that too. Yeah, voiced by Mamoru Miyano. Which is perfect. Sounds awesome. Yep. Yeah, I, don't, yeah. I don't know why. I, mean, does I? I would be surprised by does that. I? Yes. Who is no longer human, apparently. You know, mm-hmm. this, and then, this power. And then, of course, Dopo and the rest of them, mm-hmm. you know, who yeah. have to put up with Does I. Does I, yeah. Yeah. yeah, indeed, yeah. Indeed. But now that we have this whole situation. With this detective, you know, supernatural yeah. agency. Armed, of armed something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What next? What next? Yeah. Shenanigans, indeed. So, Probably. y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. All right, everyone, now be sure to go check out the reaction portion of the video in the description below, then come back here for the discussion. All right, well. Okay. There we go. There we go. That, We're uh, introduced to the armed detective agency indeed, and proper. their president and their offices. Yeah. And the, the test... Makes so much sense that it was a test now, uh-huh. because looking back on it, it was, it was so ridiculous. So ridiculous. It was so like, dumb. It was like, so goofy. Where did this random punk get a bomb that sophisticated? You know, like like that wasn't even a bomb. Right. That like, wasn't, even, it wasn't a even a bomb. Right. Right. Exactly. I, I, but of course I it wasn't. Because you know, yeah, I love it because in a lot of ways they're thinking like, okay, okay, we he should have no real attachment to us yet, except for the good things that Desai has done for him. Except the fact that Desai is also really annoying and is making yeah. light of suicide as right. like a joke. Mm-hmm. So he's not the most likable kind of person. He's no, no, he's a bit of a mixed bag. Not. But You would not like him but, in real life in the slightest, even right, if but, superpowers but, existed but, and all but, that. But, but the point here is that we're going to bring him to total strangers, mm-hmm. total strangers, and be like, what can you do? Yep. We're going to see that all come out in the, you know, three minutes or so that he basically had to just talk to this guy. Right. Yep. And it and it worked. Mm-hmm. We got to see who he was. He doesn't have a lot to live for himself. But, you know, Atsushi right. is very much uh, going to find some reason to keep on going. Yeah, despite the, it all. The that things, was really pretty. I mean, not pretty, but beautiful. Like, yeah. The yeah. things that he said to the, you know, bomber, yeah. right, came from a place within himself. Yeah. And that's a way that ev- everyone... Everyone watching could basically get a get a good, good look, a good read on him as a person, right? Get it. And then, of course, yeah, 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 mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yep. But then, of course, you know, there's the whole thing of him jumping on the bomb, which, mm-hmm. which, way to go, way to go, dude, way to go. Also, it's, it's a dumb idea, though. It's a dumbass idea, very dumb because, idea. Because because if that thing was would be enough to take out the floor, you just made yourself into shrapnel, my boy. Like my boy. Yeah, like. Y- you maybe made it so that people on the opposite side of the floor from you will, might be okay. They've just gotten pasted with your blood. You know? Yeah, yeah, which, y- good job. You know, yeah. the blast still would have made a bunch of shrapnel from all the walls getting blown out. I liked out your idea like of him trying to transform into a tiger, but it's the, he can't control it, so. Right, right, exactly. And that's, that's He's probably just hoping that the tiger would come out to protect him. Yeah, sort of a, a Hulk eating a bullet kind of a thing, right? Yeah, you know, yeah, that, sure. That it reflexively happen, and yeah. And, and because. But, cause, <laughs> no, it didn't happen. No, it didn't. <laughs> Thankfully, it wasn't needed because. Right, right. <laughs> Like imagine, imagine if that was something where it's like all of a sudden, oh my god, he hulks out into a tiger, you know, and then it's like, um, actually, this, can you do your thing again where you nullify it? Because you know he's now he's he now going actually to destroy everything here. Yeah, yeah, he could actually cause some we trouble. We might actually now. have to hurt him in order to right, stop right. him. Right, right, because <laughs> like he's he's so sure. Oh no, it's gonna detonate. It's gonna detonate. You know, but yeah, right. Yeah, and we did get the clues. Mm-hmm. But David Kalus from Does Eyes said he was taking him to a job. Yeah. And uh, then this suddenly just comes out of nowhere. And right. And there's a test involved. Mm-hmm. There and you the, go. That, the, was, that was the clue. And then my favorite part of the whole thing, and I, I showed it to Jacob afterwards, but it was the moment where he's like, get on the desk, Dopo. And on all fours. On yeah. all fours. And, you know, lower your hands so I can see them. And he just has this, ha. Huh? Like, right. like, like, <laughs> like, you could have just said... Like, put my hands in the air and make sure that you can see him if you know my abilities, right? He's not going to write with his toes, you know? But kicks off his shoes and starts scribbling on paper with his feet, you know? Like, God, I love it. And also, it it 
it very much answers a couple of the questions with regards to the realism of the scene of like, why is the bomber like letting them talk over there? Why is mm -hmm. also the ability that I'm just going to say it wouldn't have been enough. No, the idea to not. write down, <laughs> let the summon magic happen. Then you then it, to shoot. Then it like transforms. Right. And then he takes it in his hand Points it at the. Oh wow, that's a cool ability. It. What are you doing? Oh, you're using this your takes ability. Six seconds. Damn it! I didn't realize that you were gonna do that. Oh, I guess I should probably press my thumb down at some point. Oh, oh no, it's gone. Yeah, that yeah. should have been the clue. But right. But to be fair, this is one of those things where we always give anime a little bit of a, a leeway with this. Is that sure. we don't assume actual realism for no, most me of okay, the things. Ka. Me, me okay, ka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> The the idea of talking being a free action, but yeah. also in this visual medium, we want to see it all. Right, we want to understand the thing that's happening and not exactly. just have it be a blur. Yeah, which is what it probably would be in an actual high intensity scene. But also, right. also, there's the fact that our main character, mm -hmm. he's never been in a situation like this. Never, he has no grid for it. Exactly. So, so the idea that it's like, oh, this seems to be taking a while. He won't necessarily... He's too scared. There might be some yeah. subconscious, like, huh, that's kind of odd. But he's not actually going to be thinking nope. about that stuff because he's panicking, right? Yep. So, and the two of them are go. doing some really good acting as to being the panicked bomber who's crazed and wants to kill right. them. And then also the panicked, mm -hmm. terrified oh. hostage. Also, the fact that it's a 30-second countdown... After pressing the button. After pressing <laughs> the button. Like, that's... That's, that's one another of the thing where you're like... Wait a minute. Because like, I was actually impressed, and I was going to say, wow, you know this bomber is serious because there's no timer on the bomb. Right, right, exactly. It's just a thing of I press this button and boom. Right. But no, no, mm -hmm. the button is to start the timer. So that was that was another clue that was just like, I, Wait I a minute. can't. Because I felt bad because I was like, I'm not taking this seriously because the scene is stupid. And I'm not sure if I should stupid, or not. Yeah, right. But I feel like I should right. because, because yeah, everyone the, else the, is. The, but the no. scene itself and what's going on is serious, but the even some of the characters the with execution. how they're responding right. like, isn't serious. Like like the Zai, for instance, the way he's being all comedic and stuff, it's yes. like... <laughs> you, even if you somehow can't be killed because you keep right. trying to suicide and it does nothing. There's people here you care about, there's right? There's other people here you care about, right? That bomb is going to blow. Or like, and, but still, the, the logic of things was pretty mm -hmm. good of like, ah, he knows our faces and abilities. He'll We don't want to set him off. No pun intended, or pun very much intended. Mm -hmm. You know, so, okay, newbie, go do something. Yeah, right? that was a good way to basically force him into right. the limelight and just say, hey, you have to wing yeah. it. Mm -hmm. on, it's all up your, to you now. Yeah, get your best improv skills on point, and let's right. just, just see start what you can spewing do. bullshit, and maybe something will work. You know, I, I loved that on some level you could see the character of uh, Junichiro breaking at times, and a mm. part of it was when Atsushi was just like uh, tea on rice, you know, like having a roof over your head, getting to sleep at night, like, wake huh? up in the morning, and he's just like. Uh huh. Like, like right. <laughs> you could tell that it was the the acting of oh, I'm the desperate, really crazed bomber, but also, uh huh. Like, there I, was some really good like, I, like I facial animation. I expected something a little more. That. Well, more or, or, like, or, or not just that, just like that he's actually being moved a little bit, like, uh, and he's trying to keep the like. Uh, this is uh, this is the this, this is not is, working. This is the raw shitting himself fear that's yeah. coming from this newbie. Oh, and he's talking about tea on rice, and it's like... Yeah, it's like, that's kind of sad, actually. Right, right, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's a lot of little moments where it almost feels like they're trying to set up, like, a really goofy scene. Mm -hmm. But then some, like, real emotion from the characters comes oh, okay. out in a way that you're like, Oh, oh, I, I can't laugh at that, that's... Oh, okay. I got um, the I got the reverse most of the time where it's the serious scene that then comedy slips in. Like my oh well that that's the soul eater part. Like it feels uh, very sure. soul eater in that yeah. there's a lot of comedy slipping in in moments because of does I really ah I think something good might be about to happen. Mm. Ouch! Ouch. <laughs> like, I cannot talk. That like, is, I think, my favorite. scene. That is my favorite episode. scene in the episode too. Like that was so funny. Oh man! And and the fi the funny thing is, I don't. Fully understand why it's so funny. It's but it's it the, just is. It's the juxtaposition of you have this guy 
you know, hasn't coming spoken in. Hasn't spoken really. Hasn't spoken at all. Super deep voice. My power is all men are created equal. Well, I'm sorry. Right? He did speak, but it was for a very short, brief period of time. Right, right. The secretary then takes the entire scene talking. Yep, yep. And and it's and but like he's and he's just, got like the the traditional like Japanese garb and everything like like it makes it makes it gives me very much the vibe of like the the higher ups in like the yakuza or something where it's like mm -hmm. no 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 suits aren't formal enough like uh, like we we wear this we kind of clothing we go traditional we go old school ah mm -hmm. uh, a, a tea leaf standing perfectly straight is this some kind of actual omen for the future Can, possibly what is this are we gonna get inside into their powers or something like that and then it's like and then the way he goes to drink it. It's like, it's almost like he's like, ah, oh, yes, this is inconsequential so, to me, or you know, or, or whatever. So, like, ouch. Like, so, 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 I think I, I think I get it now. Mm. I think I get it. It's the idea that something with regards to either the spiritual aspect of having so many people with these powers in the same place creates phenomena mm. that could be portents about the future, right? And. All of them are kind of in tune to the idea that phenomena of this nature just sometimes happens. Yeah. And she, being the secretary, who's very much trying to be the positive reinforcer towards right. the president, to be yeah. like... Helpful, uh, supportive figure. Yeah, exactly. So I see this as a positive thing. He then, without responding, without yeah. responding uh -huh. at all, almost decides to undo it by intentionally sipping from the tea without testing it, without blowing on it, or anything like that, just takes a little sip, and it undoes the portent of this being a good thing because immediately, ouch, he, ouch, he gets burned by the oh, tea. I thought, so I thought it wasn't the, that he got burned by the tea. I thought it was that the, the, the tea thing, because it was floating straight up on the, on, the, on the tea, that it basically got caught in his throat or something. It like, it, like, stuck in his throat somehow. I don't think he would have drank enough in order to make it actually, like... I don't know. Now, what? now, now, if they wanted to do that, Jacob, I feel uh -huh. like they would have made the scene go a little bit longer. And what they would have done is had to be that they, and then, <coughs> you know, and then he starts choking on the. No, the I personally, the, I, I wouldn't have wanted that. Because, I wouldn't have wanted that either. That's because, why I think it was no, no, more just the very simple, just ouch. It was, it was no, no, too no, hot, that, you know? no, no, but that's, that's, that's why I love it as the idea of this, because then it's something that's so avoidable, right? It still is avoidable if it's hot, right? right? You but could that's, have just taken it and pulled it out. Right, but that's more like. It being hot, that's more traditional avoidable. Here's this thing that's staring him straight in the face, right? The Possibly. secretary calls attention to it, and he's just like, nope, mm -hmm. don't care. Drink it. Ouch. You ouch. know, and it's and it's like, it's the most casual ouch. Like, I knew that was going to happen. Right, you know, right, like, right. Like, I, nope. I, <laughs> like, have you ever said ouch or ow? When it doesn't you're not actually, actually hurt, hurting, but... it's just that something happened that shocked you and you went, ow, you know, like. Right, right. You <laughs> expected it to hurt, but it didn't. And you're like, but you still say it. But you still say it. Right. Like, <laughs> who knows? It's just, it's just funny because I, if there is, like, I'm sorry for making this connection, but if there is anything that I would love to see that has a Soul Eater vibe mm. is give the president this, this combination of being a very goofy old guy. Ah, yeah. Like death, you know, basically. Mm -hmm. But also being supremely powerful. Supremely powerful, powerful and badass and, and, and terrifying yeah, yeah. under most Right. Most instances where it's needed. Like the, but ev kind but of, else but other times not really as much. To make another comparison, he kind of gives me like a more anime version of like Captain Holt. Where it's the mm. there are I am mm. very serious all the time. Mm. And there, and there is a wavelength that I'm on that, you know, mm. not everyone else is necessarily on. But as a result of that, there are some things that just are lost on me. Mm. Like, you know, and so, hmm, ouch. Like, ah, I don't know. I am Maybe. I am very much looking forward yeah. to see more from the president. Like, yeah. that, 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 that one little really scene. Yeah. Like, it also recontextualizes the whole idea of him letting Desai choose what to do with, you know, the newbie, right? Because originally it's like... aloof. Right, yeah, because it it came across to me as like, hmm, he's impressed me enough that I will I will let you have your way, mm. right? But it might just be the, hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, it could also just be the I don't want to, uh, you know, have my authority used in some uh, ways in front of this newbie. So yes, I will yes. retire you to deal my with office. It. I am too important to be here. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, and it's all an act, like a. Yeah. All right. So, so we have a couple characters introduced in the brothers and sister, the brother and sister, Naomi and Junichiro. Okay. Okay. I don't really care too much about them right now. Oh, I, I have a particular care. <laughs> cursed. Naomi is cursed. 
It's that's oh my god. You're tired of that trope so much. <sighs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, but then we have Haru no Kirako, which uh, I love characters named Haru no now. Just that's mm. just a thing. Oh, I, I wonder why. Yeah, I wonder yeah, why. I do. I do. Yeah. Um, and if this is what we can expect to have as the kind of the general vibe of the show, is that some kind of situation gets brought up. Mm -hmm. We have to send our main three to kind of deal right. with it. But they also have a squad that they're connected to, which mm -hmm. has the ones we met from episode one with Akiko, Rampo, and Kenji. Yeah. Then it can be the thing of where one by one we introduce the powers of those in that group. Right. So we introduced Tiger, best beast beneath the moonlight. Mm -hmm. We've kind of got hints of what does eyes power is maybe yeah, there's the nullification aspect but, but we don't really know what it is we don't yeah really there might be something more to entirely it. Yeah. and then dopo poet poet which we now he have makes things by writing them into existence awesome yeah. that's yeah and so he's constantly taking notes maybe and this is a dumb a thought i had mm -hmm. because if he can manifest a concept into reality what are the limits of that Oh, sure. Like, if he writes something that's not a physical object. Right. But it's the, ah, this could be something that undoes my aging issues because of... <laughs> well, and also, if he writes stuff down, like, save that for later, mm -hmm. then theoretically he could use that at a later time without writing it down right then. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the point, though, is that yeah. if he writes something that is in his book, it can be used probably whenever he wants, mm -hmm. but it's the idea of what if he puts something on there that does not actually have a physical, visible appearance, you know? Yeah. Well, and also, it like, does... It, it could does. be just a bunch of quotes that he's got in there that he's like, that's some wisdom right there. Right. I will impart that. Well, also, depending on whatever limitations it might have, because whenever mm -hmm. you get into matter, transformation, recreation, or whatever, mm -hmm. that can get complicated, but he's all concerned about all these physical tangible things being wasted mm. couldn't oh. he just make more of them that is actually like even funny. if the paper yeah. was a limitation couldn't he just be like you bend it squandering you know? machine <laughs> right right exactly you know <laughs> that was like, such a good insult <laughs> box of bandages <laughs> you know <laughs> right so what it probably is is that that book has only so much paper New book. <laughs> New book. <laughs> <You know? Yeah. laughs> but, you know. I require a tome of scribing. Exactly. Yes, it's redundant. It's... <laughs> We're making puns about, you know, authors and stuff in here. Don't, yeah. don't question it. <laughs> so, but that's that's an example of how creative and crazy the, the abilities can get. Because mm. because so far from the, from the main two that we've gotten yeah. thus far, we've gotten a lot of cool names. But we've basically had... Monster enhancement transformation, right. and then I make your powers no work. You know, right? So you know, yeah. And I think the the no longer human one. Mm -hmm. I really feel like there's something connected to it with regards to the constantly desiring to die. Right, because the name doesn't fit with I nullify powers. Like mm -hmm. that. That yeah. I, I, or at least I don't see the connection there. So so, so that's the other thing. The mm -hmm. name actually might have. The loosest connection to That's the actual. That's true. It's the, the power. We just really want to be cool, so we come up with like cool names. Cool names, and right. then and then maybe the most practical one is Dopo Poet. You know, because it's the no. That's I'm a I'm a poet. My prose brings things into existence. There yeah. we go. You know, yeah, right? It's, it's Whereas like all men are created equal. It's actually like I can right. see the future. You like, know, like, like Ron poses ultra deduction. Which is pretty much just, pretty straightforward. There you go. But then we have "Be not defeated by the rain." <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. What's the what? My, like the unless it's some kind of I can become stronger in the rain or something like that. Like right, no. it's probably not a literal translation. It's right. probably something it's to do with poetry. the rain, it's maybe. Prose, but yeah, you know, it's yeah. it poetry, probably. Right. So you know, there's "Thou shalt not die." That's straightforward. You know. Right, but that is probably. also a very like excessive to way to go. Help you live. You know. <laughs> right. Right. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, these are follow all me writers, if you want to not die. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. And and by the way, with that end credit scene that we got, mm -hmm. I. With our Bado guy. Yes. Who I, might be... I would love so much if that was Edgar Allan Poe. See, this is the thing. This is mm -hmm. the thing. I feel like if they're going to actually have a character named Edgar Allan Poe show up, they gotta have him be like... I mean, like... 
they can't just name anyone totally. Edgar Allan Poe. Totally, Just yes. in that they probably... Because this is the thing. We don't really know these These names, writers because they're, they're writers Japanese writers. Well. Yeah. But I'm sure some of them are on the level of, like, the greats out there, mm -hmm. especially for the last the hundred years, yeah. where it's like, wait, you just threw that name and attached it to uh -huh. that character, and the connection is just Beast right. Beneath the Moonlight, you know? That's it? Right, like, like you can't just have Edgar Allan Poe be a throwaway. Yeah. Right, right. But I but I think that that's, that's kind of the, the, the thing, though, is that if you have, you know, villains in this story... Mm -hmm. You, you have to really, well, like, then make them... In, it's, it's, you could it's got, have them be the writers from the other nations and cultures. You yeah, know, that, that was the idea like, I had in the previous episode, yeah, yeah. was to have that. But but then just having a Japanese guy be Edgar Allan Poe just feels kind of goofy oh. because you're like, what do they call him? Edgar Allan Poe, you know, like... That that could be so awesome, though. You know, da da da, da blah, blah, powers names and stuff. Oh, Edgar Allan Poe. You know, it, like, can you imagine, can you imagine Mamoru Miyano saying that in a really serious voice? I can imagine a lot of things Mamoru Miyano saying because I have now watched <laughs> yeah. a lot of anime with, with him, him yeah. as a voice actor. And he slays every single role he's he in. He really does. So, yeah, I'm, I'm all for it. But, y'all, it was a very fun kind of second episode to kind of... Do the formal introduction yeah. of open the up ADA. the world and the cast, and uh, although it was quite slow, just in general with what mm. we actually got, right? Uh, Having the reveal at the end that it's all a, a staged thing was kind of one of those things where that that was that was a relief to me. It was a relief, but, yeah. But during the thing, I was like, wait, hold on, this is this how, is how, wait, how oh. how do I actually take this? You know, yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. I want to have the third episode be brought, bringing in the conflict as to why uh, Dazai very much is pushing to bring Atsushi into the ADA. And I think it has to do with the fact that the orphanage that he was from, mm. things were not... Um, not kosher? Not... Uh, yeah, above board? Yeah, above board yeah. when it comes to uh, the people involved with it and given the fact that we got villains in the end credit scene that means we probably will get the conflict in, in some way shape them. or form yeah. yeah 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 but okay y'all thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion if you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now though go check out the link in the description below for our patreon you can get an early access there you can watch full-length timer reactions there and all this comes with discord access so you can chat with us and the community there about this show about anime in general and also be sure to check out our twitch channel we stream every weekday the info's in the description yeah so if any of that interests you we'll see you there but until then we're semblance of sanity i'm caleb i'm jacob and we'll see you all next time, time.